Okay, listen. This is the first time ever in showbiz that I have shared a part with Norman Wisdom. It's true. One of my great heroes. One of the few left, actually. We both play a strange barman called Winston who appears in toilets and knows things that other people don't know. And they think that they know who Winston is. And suddenly he's not. He looks like Norman Wisdom. And then they think they get the teeth into that and it turns out he's not Norman Wisdom, it's Rick. It's Rick now. And it's very spooky because they, Norman and I, who play Winston, know something that's going on. And I won't tell you, you have to see the film. I'm just going to watch one of my rushes. I think I was Thank good. You. I think they will too. Come and have one. On location, obviously we were in the woods, and stupid me, I never realised how cold it would be, how muddy it would be, and um, we were filming like at two in the morning, so it was very cold, and it was at one point where we were all sitting around the log fire, and uh, we started hearing these noises, and it was quite spooky. Vincent Carney is um, the um most probably the protagonist of the film. Um, I mean, any actor would say that because he wants to be the most important part. I mean, there's some really irritating 20 year olds in this that really should. <laughs> geeks, computer geeks, kill them, you know what I mean? And we're just, we're just going out for a camping weekend. I'm playing Rachel, who is kind of a tomboy. She's quite feisty, carefree, happy go lucky. I play um, Gary. I don't know what his second name is, but um, Gary is uh, a web site computer nut freak um, sort of dude, and he's sort of a dark character. He facilitates the whole um, journey into Harrow Woods. Expect nothing, be prepared for everything. Expect nothing, get an extremely bad cold, and that's about it. Anyway, Rachel had the best weekend. If you call a weekend in traction good. Well, it was for us. At least we didn't have to listen to your mouth all day. Cut it out, Lewis. She's quite a vicious woman, to be honest with you. Yeah. She's just trying to have a good time. She was looking for a boyfriend, for goodness sake. That's all. They all need to go because they're stamping on our land. The fog circles in over the bay, through the woods, into the cabin, and into my lungs. Cobblers. What's been your favorite film that you've appeared in? Oh, uh, the best film I've ever appeared in? Yeah, for you. Oh, the best film I've ever appeared in, without doubt, is this one. Here's another scene of me being great. Just relax, relax, enjoy yourselves. He's talking bollocks. Yes, I've got talking bollocks. <laughs> Well, Carl is um, a psychologist, he's a lecture psychology at NYU, and he's really the sort of Svengali puppeteer. He controls the students, and they're all in a little gang, the Internet is Birthday Club. He is uh, responsible, in many ways, for what happens to them in the woods. 